Welcome to Never Betters to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan and this is Buddy Sherman and we are so glad you're here. So today I've got a 30 minute vinyasa flow practice for you all about movement and message. In the flow we're going to move in and out of variations of half and quarter moon. The message is about living life forwards but understanding it backwards. So I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up. Push the bell for future notifications. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after the best version of you today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. Think about you all the time. So if you follow me on Spotify at Never Better Yoga, you're gonna go ahead and press that play bus, playlist button right now so we can start together. Then come with me right to the top of your mat. Feet are gonna be all the way to the width of your mat. Physically pick your toes up, fan them out nice and wide. Elevate your heel up and in your mind's eye, slide it back. Root down solid. Brush and sweep your arms out and up on the breath in. On the breath out, catch each forearm with your hand to create a little square behind your back. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder as you pull down on the left shoulder blade stretching out your neck. Now, chin to chest, get the back side of your neck, and then slip the left ear over to the left shoulder, letting your hands help press apart, widening your collarbone. Then come back to the center. I wanna tip your gaze up to the heavens. Now, release that connection. Lace your hands in front of your body. Thumbs forward. They're going to face down. Pinky fingers up as you bend your knees into half a chair. Really stretch way out in front of your body. Exhale. Release that connection and dive down. Put a little buoyancy, a little softness in your knee. And one hand to each bicep to hang right in ragdoll at the top of your mat, forward folding. So start to ignite a little sway, a little shift, a little energy that comes from the soles of your feet all the way up and out the crown of your head. Now let that sway be ignited. Let the energy of the earth help move your body and still your mind. Now hold up in the center. Can you hang in ragdoll in stillness, removing any fidgeting? And then shake your head out any kind of angst or any kind of worry or uncertainty. Just let it spill right out onto your mat. There is that way about life that we live it forwards, but we understand it backwards. So shake out anything you don't understand, anything you're trying to figure out, any unforgiveness. Just let it spill right out onto your mat. And draw that yes back in with that knowingness that you are exactly where you belong. No coincidence you unrolled your mat today. Now hands come onto your shins, pump the heart up. Exhale, bow down and fold. Do that again two more times. Inhale, lengthen tabletop style. Exhale, pull yourself back together in the fold. One more time, shins back, heart forward, breathe in. Exhale, bow down, breathe out. Now heel toe your feet to the width of your hips and rise right up, sweeping your arms out and up. Seren Kiagard said it this way, right hand, left wrist, side bend. 
Life can only be understood backwards, but we must live it forwards. Left hand, right wrist, lean left. Now, release the connection all the way down by collecting your hands and folding over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Plant your palms, step your body into downward facing dog. Now in your downward dog, press your heels back behind your second and third toe and shift your hips. Now you might want to dip one forearm at a time down, just getting a little pliability, a little movability to enter your body. And then all together, let's peel both heels up on the in-breath. Bend your knees and let them hover. Land the right knee down, pivot the right foot off your mat, left leg goes long, right hand down, left arm lifts up, and then up and overhead. Now stay right here or pick the left leg up, sweep the left hand back, catch the hand and foot, and open up your heart for a little chapasana variation. Now hang on to the left shin. Round your back, tuck your chin, step the left foot forward, let both hands come on the left femur bone, push down so you can rise up with the crown of your head lifting. Now sweep your arms out and up, breathe in. Exhale, tee the arms, breathe out. Collect your hands at heart center, wring it out and twist. Let the palms come at the center of the heart. Spin your gaze upward as you let the thumbs just come right into the center of your chest. Now breathe. Now release that connection. Frame the left leg. Draw your hips back. Dig the left heel in. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, dive over that left front leg and fold. Now plant the left foot, tuck the right toes under, right hand down, right kneecap lifts. Spin the left arm up and overhead. Now create a circle, draw the left arm in and then up and over. Yes, get that body moving and inhale and exhale, in and out through your nose. Then hold up left arm up and overhead, spiral your gaze up and under. Plant the left hand down, sweep the left leg back behind your body, three-legged dog, roll open at the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Roll that left foot around your ankle, then reverse the direction. Now send the left leg long and straight, lower it down to meet the right. Now your back in downward facing dog, pressing the heels, lowering possibly one forearm at a time just to get the body moving, to get the body warmed up. Breathe. In and out through your nose, practicing being in this place. Let the focus of your mind be on your breath. Your breath can lead your practice. All together now, pop both heels up, breathe in. Bend your knees and let them hover, breathe out. Land left knee down, left foot spins off your mat, right leg goes long. Left hand could be on a block, right arm lifts, and then right arm up and overhead. Now, if this interests you, you could lift the right leg up for quarter moon. Flex the right foot. Then if you are interested in catching the right hand to the right shin, maybe top of the foot. If we had an aerial view of you right now, it'd be a nice circular circle that we could see from the top down. Now carry the right shin forward by rounding your back, tucking your chin. Place both hands on the right femur to bone. Press down. Breathe. Now sweep your arms up on the inhale, on the exhale, tee your arms and lift your heart. 
Collect your hands at heart center. Ring it out on the twist. Left upper arm on the outside of the right front thigh. Can you put your thumbs in the center of your chest? Peel the right shoulder blade back and breathe. Somebody breathe. Now release your hands down. Glide your hips back. Runner's stretch. Ardha Hanumanasana. Stack the left hip over the knee. Dig the right heel in like a divot. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, bow and stretch that right hamstring out. Now plant the right foot. Tuck the left toes under if they're not. Pick up the left kneecap. Left hand down, spin the right arm up. Modified revolved lunge. Right arm up and over. On the exhale, draw it in. Inhale, circle it around. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand. Last time, exhale, contract. Inhale, expand. Right arm up and overhead. Can you gaze up and under the right arm? Lower the right hand down. Sweep the right leg back behind your body to take you into three-legged dog. Roll open at the hip. Draw the left hip back, circle the right foot right around your ankle, spread your toes wide. Reverse that direction. Now send the right leg straight, long, and strong. Now lower it down to meet the left. Pedal through your feet again and drop one forearm at a time. Now take 100 million steps, nice and slow to the top of your mat. Let the stroll be slow. Nice, full, complete circles. Walking to the top of your mat with feet at the distance of your hips. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, bow down. Do it again. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, pull yourself together. One more time. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bow down and fold. Sweep your arms out and up. Right hand, left wrist, side bend. Up and over to the right. Come back to the center. Left hand, right wrist, up and over to the left. Yes. Now come back. Tee your arms and lift your heart. Take your hands behind your back. One hand on each forearm to create a square right ear, right shoulder. Dip the chin to the chest, left ear, left shoulder. Now release that connection, lace your hands inside out. Stretch your arms forward, bend your knees, half of a chair, Utkatasana. Bow down and fold. Inhale, lengthen, <clears throat> exhale, fold. Rise back up, stand tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Chin to chest, close your eyes and bring your purpose, your reason for unrolling your mat today into your heart. Living today so we have no regrets for tomorrow. Seal in a wish, a prayer, an intention, a belief. Then offer it up to the heavens. Exhale, swan dive down, hinge, bend and fold. Inhale halfway, step back high, plank pose, plank asana right here. From your plank, drop both knees, point your toes, shift the shoulders over the wrist. Bend your arms, go chin, chest, belly, slither right onto your mat. Inhale in cobra, exhale lower back down with your chin to the earth, prone style, press your feet into the mat. Retract your shoulders, inhale, exhale, lower back down. One more time, inhale, retract the shoulders, maybe up dog, Urdhva Mukha, Svanasana, palms of hands, tops of feet. Exhale, dive your hips up and back into down dog, maybe staying on the tops of your feet to stretch them out. Now breathe in, just lift the heels. Breathe out, lower the heels down. Breathe in, lift the heels back up, pull your belly in. Exhale, hear your breath. 
let it go. Inhale, breathe in. This time, audible sigh out your mouth. Ah, yeah, clear that slate. Beautiful. Now, pop your heels up, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees. You're going to step, walk, float, fly. Feet to your hands, top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow and fold. Surya Namaskara A, the sun salutation. Rise up, breathe in. Exhale, dive over your legs, breathe out. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float it back. Take your body through vinyasa. You can step back high plank, lowering down. Inhale, rising up. Back bend of choice. Exhale, dive up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now, maybe you like to walk your feet in just a touch. Let that solid gripping of your hands be present on your mat. Let your hands, your Surya Hasta Sun hands, help create stability. Pop your heels up. Breathe in. Exhale. Bend your knees. Breathe out. Step, float, fly. Feet to your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Rise up. Sweep high to the heavens. Exhale, collect your hands, dive back over your legs. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through vinyasa. Inhaling up, exhaling back, downward facing dog. Two more rounds. One breath, one move, a little more pep in our step. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Step, float, fly, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, dive and fold. Root to rise, stretch high to the sky. Exhale, cascade down, hinge, bend and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through vinyasa. Knees can come down. You can Go chin, chest, belly. You can float back to chaturanga. So many options. Land in downward facing dog. Pause. Breathe. Smooth out your breath. One more round. Here we go. Pop up your heels. Breathe in. Exhale. Bend your knees. Breathe out. Step, hop, float, fly, feet to your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Root to rise, breathe in. Exhale, dive over your legs. Bend. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float it back. Move through. Vinyasa. Inhale up. Exhale, dive up and back. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Right knee, right upper arm. Step the foot outside your hand. Now you're in a high lizard. Fingertips down, drag your heart through the gateway of your arms. Left knee cap is lifted. Exhale, dive back, glide the hips back, dig in the right heel. Do that again. Inhale, pump the heart up. Breathe in. Exhale, dive back. Breathe out. You got it. One more time. Inhale, rise the heart. Exhale, dive the hips up and back. Plant the right foot. Hop the left foot up. Lace your hands inside out. Press them forward. Bend the knees. Tailbone back. Arms stretch forward. Exhale, dive over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Heel toe your feet if they're not to the width of your hips or even closer. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, build that internal heat. Fold and bow. Rise up, stretch high to the sky. Take your arms behind your body. One hand on each forearm, ear to shoulder. Tip the ear. Chin to chest, back of the neck. Ear to shoulder, other side on the left. 
Now shift your gaze up slow, breathe in. Release that connection, breathe out. Inhale and lengthen, step or float your body back, move it through, vinyasa. Let the heart lift. Exhale, dive your hips up and back, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Allow your left leg to lift, roll open at the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Inner knee, outer upper arm, tap it, hold. Step it outside that left pinky finger. Tense your finger pads up, maybe hands on blocks, maybe even maha that left foot, draw your heart through the gateway. Exhale, dive up and back, glide the hips back. Inhale, shift forward, look up. Exhale, dive up and back. Life can be understood backwards, but we must live it forwards. Come back forward. Nice. Now go ahead and draw back, digging that left heel in, letting that left hamstring stretch out a little modified version of pyramid pose. Plant the left foot, right leg joins parallel, lace the hands inside out, tailbone back, press and reach. Rise all the way up this time. Keep your hands laced. Bend the elbows up and over to the right. Beautiful. Up and over to the left. Now reach your arms up. Hook your thumbs. Index fingers together. Expand and open your front body. Standing back bend. Exhale. Dive over your legs. Heel toe your feet to the width of your hips or together if they're not. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, step or float it back. Take your body through vinyasa. Offer up your heart. Breathe in. Exhale, dive up and back. Breathe out. Hold. Hold and breathe. Smooth out your breath. Moving on. Right leg lifts on the inhale. Roll open at the hip. Right knee, right tricep, and hold. Windshield, wipe the right knee to the left, and hold. Shoot the right leg out. Fall your triangle. Spin the left heel down. Left arm up and overhead. Somebody breathe. Now, left hand down. Right leg takes that flip or go back to three-legged dog. Your choice. Listen to that still, small voice, which is always, always right. Reach the right arm up, look up at the right thumb. Right hand down, pull the right knee in. Step it up, warrior one. Rise up, strong and stable. Pull the left arm back like a bow and arrow. Now, right hand, left shin, rainbow. Now, stay low, float up, half moon. Maybe right hand goes on a block. We started out in quarter moon top of your mat now in half moon shine it open Ardha Chandrasana breathe now possible connection left hand left foot hang on to it now release that connection slow take the hands down and square your hips up bend the right leg step the left leg back left hand down Heel toe the right foot back. Look down at the left foot. Come to the pinky edge side. Right arm up and then overhead as the bottom left hip lifts. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Smooth out your breath. Inhale, rise up. Last time you're making a rainbow. Exhale, lower down, creating memories that matter rise up now left hand down step back plank asana high plank pose take your body up and back downward facing dog shift back to high plank now option lower down to the mat let your knees drop inhale rise up exhale take your body up and back, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. 
Let your left leg lift, roll open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Left knee, inner knee, outer tricep. Hold. Windshield, wipe it over to the right. Hold. Shoot the left foot out. Fall your triangle. Spin the right arm up and overhead. Now hold here. Can you stretch out the right side body? Right hand down, your choice. You can flip it or you might want to stay in three-legged dog. Left arm up and over. Breathe the right hip up. Left arm lifts. Bring it back around, pull the left knee into the forehead. Go ahead and step it up, Virabhadrasana one. Rise up, breathe in, left hip back. Archers, pull back like a bow and arrow. Look up, right elbow bends, look at the left thumb. Rainbow, left hand, right shin. You're looking at the back with the right leg bent. Now bend at the waist, here we go. Float up, Ardhachandrasana, half moon, shine open. Shine from the inside out. Connect, possibly, hand to foot. Breathe. Release, create that L shape, letting the hips parallel up. Now, soften the left knee. You're going to step the right leg way back. That takes you to a lunge. Right hand down. Heel toe the left foot back. Let the left arm lift up. Come to the pinky edge side of the right foot. Left arm lifts up and overhead. Lift the bottom right hip. Exhale, lower down. How do we find that courage to follow our heart? You can't connect the dots from looking forward. Keep going with this. You can only connect them by looking backwards. Whoo! So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect your future. You have to have trust in something. Hold, lift the bottom right hip, left arm up and over, left hand down, step back, high plank pose. Move your body back to down dog. Hold. You have to trust in something. Stay in your down dog. Your intuition, that guide that is always, always right. Your faith, even when things don't look different, believing that they are and can be different. Maybe it's your gut, trust. And amazing things will happen. Pop your heels up. Now, exhale, bend your knees, hold right here like a lily on a launch pad. This is a fake launch. Come back to that short little down dog. If you want to shorten it up a touch more, so be it. Those are words of wisdom from Steve Jobs. Pop the heels up again. Exhale, bend the knees. Now hold right here and look at your hands. Visualize your feet landing outside of your pinky fingers. Malasana, hop up there like a flying ninja. Go ahead and hop up. Breathe, maybe you hold a little bit. Land in Malasana. That yoga squat, hands to heart center. Now, if you wanna stay right here, lift out of the hips and hold. If you would like to have one kakasana, planting your hands down, loading your knees on your upper arms, hugging your feet together, so be it. Balance. Find stable, steady, grace and balance in your practice. So in preparing for today's class, I came across a YouTube video when Steve Jobs gave the commencement speech at Stanford University in 2005, hands at heart center, back to Malasana. Drop your hips, wrap your arms around your shins, round your back, tuck your chin, draw in. So it is words of wisdom to live by. 
really finding the courage to follow your heart, knowing that we live life forwards, but only seem to understand it backwards. Spin around to a comfortable, easy seat. Now, take your hands and sweep them out and up on the inhale. Exhale, take a nice twist. Right hand outside the left thigh. Spin the left shoulder blade back. Sit up nice and tall. Take the left arm up and over. Crisscross it. Pull yourself together. Bow down. Capture one hand on each elbow. Rise your arms up. Lift up and over to the right. Now, this picture frame around your head is yours to complete up and over to the left. You create your day, your life. Come back. Release and twist. Left hand outside the right thigh. Roll the right shoulder blade back. Sit up tall. Sit up tall. Draw the tips of your ears back. And you want to tap into your faith, believing even when you can't see it. Right arm up and over. If you have to see it to believe it, that's not faith. Bow down. Right hand to the outside of the left leg. Capture those elbows. Create that masterpiece that you are. Your head is in the middle of the picture. Up and over to the left. Now up and over to the right. Somebody breathe. Now release your finger pads behind your body. Roll your shoulder heads up and back. I want you to lean back with bent arms and look up. Stretch your neck out. Retract your shoulders. Lift your heart. Follow your heart. Find the courage to tap in to do in your life what moves you. Reach the arms out and up. Do what you love. Collect your hands at heart center. Seal your purpose in, knowing that we understand and learn life backwards, but we must live it forward. Seal your intention in. Let it create clarity, peace, and love. And then look up as we all finish with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Home. Go on out today and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your